From practice to meetings to spending large and I mean large amounts of time in the weight room, college football players seemingly have a full time year round job to find success on the field in the fall. Players have to put in a lot of work during the spring, and that's something of a science in its own right. Last week, we got to go or got a chance to go behind the scenes with the UIW strength and conditioning staff as they look to put a consistent winner out on the field. Everything that we do culture wise and our physical development all starts in this weight room. There's a lot more to just putting, you know, bicep curls and bench press on the whiteboard and then clapping your hands. Brett Huth is part drill sergeant. Hey, that's better. Part mad scientist. Hell yeah, Phil. Get you some. And a Carter Word football strength and conditioning coach. There's certain times of years where the football coaches are on the road recruiting or running summer camps and uh, while they're looking at the, the future classes uh, for UIW football success, I'm training the guys that are currently here. For UIW and countless other programs across the country, football games in the fall are one in the weight room each spring. My first job when Mike Leach hired me, I got to help him hire a staff. And, um, you know, the, the greatest advice he ever gave me was the most important hire you're going to make if you're ever head coach is, is your strength coach. It's advice that's paid off and played a huge role in UIW's rise from the Southland Cellar to the toast of the conference. Last year, you know, I attribute most of our success to, to them coming in here and having big gains in the weight room, um, getting stronger, getting faster. Coach Hugh does a phenomenal job of, of getting them in here and uh, making them be accountable to one another, and um, the results have been great. Morris calls Hugh the head coach of the strength program allowing he and his staff the autonomy to mold athletes and put them in the best position to succeed on and off the field. Um, a huge piece of it is the psychology piece, knowing your kids. Uh, if your kids know you um, and know that you have the best interest in them, then the times you do have to be hard on them, you have to coach them hard, they know that you're doing it out of their best interest, out of just doing it for your own ego. That close relationship and trust is paramount. Athletes spend more time with the strength staff than anyone else. When recruits walk in the door, first thing I say to them is welcome to your new home. And I say welcome to your new home because you'll spend more time here with me and my staff than anyone else on campus. And the only place you may spend a little bit more time is maybe in your dorm room. And that's the truth. Behind months of sweat equity, the Cardinals are working towards even more success in 2019. For us, um, you know, co-conference champs last year was, was awesome. I think this year we'd like to be outright conference champs and uh, we have our eyes set on bigger, better things than just making it to the first round of the playoffs as well.